Tonight, one man is dead, another in the hospital after a shooting right near Oakland City Hall. It is the city's fourth homicide in just the past 24 hours. KTV's Jenna Katsuyama spoke with witnesses who saw the victim. She's live tonight here in the city of Oakland with the story. Jenna. Mike, I called the coroner's office tonight. They said they cannot release the name of the victim. They are still working on identification and notifying the family. But people said that the gunshots were so loud. They were heard not just outside City Hall, but also by people inside. Along Frankogawa Plaza near Oakland City Hall on 14th Street, a normal Tuesday afternoon turned violent and deadly. I heard the shot. I was there. I was coming across the street right here. Yeah? Yeah. And you heard the shots. How many shots were there? About four or five. And I started hearing gunfire, gunshots, and I just ducked. You know, scary. Yeah. I've never experienced anything like this. Tanya Cole says when police arrived, they started doing CPR. Officers say one victim, an Oakland resident in his 20s, died there in the plaza. The second victim was transported to a local hospital where he's currently undergoing surgery. Police say that second injured victim is a Berkeley man in his 20s. We are now at 91 homicides for this year in the city of Oakland compared to 100 lives lost the same time last year. Police said they are reviewing surveillance video. One witness says he saw a car at the scene. I saw a shooting, dude shooting in the car. They turned around, one dude fell out of the car, the other dude ran and got on the grass over here. The shooting happened just yards from City Hall as the Oakland City Council meeting was underway. Most of the members were participating remotely, but some staff were inside and heard the gunshots. It was really unnerving to be in City Hall and not know how close um, the, the gunshots were and if someone was injured. I was scared. I didn't know if someone was going to come by City Hall. The City Council had just been discussing with the police chief the need to increase resources for crime investigations. There might be technology, more technology that both the uh, individual residents and OPD can be can use to help with investigations. You know, I, we, we should take that seriously. Uh, we, we need the uh, police chief to assign a few more officers to the investigations division. Uh, I, we realize they're understaffed. And I know that we have a large backlog in the city of Oakland in regards to our crime lab. I would call up the county and ask if we can use their crime lab. And late this afternoon, we saw a dark Infinity sedan being towed away from the scene, followed by an Oakland police vehicle. We asked police about that, but they had no comment. They also are asking anyone in the public who might have cell phone video or a surveillance camera video that could help with this investigation to contact police and share that information with them. Mike. Jenna Katsuyama live tonight in Oakland. Jenna, thank you. Tonight